So if this is your first time joining my channel, welcome to Fab Finds. If you're returning to my channel, hey Bougieville Boos, welcome back darling, welcome back. You already know the drill and the routine. You already know that your VIP seat is waiting for you. Yes honey. So go ahead and grab your mocktails, grab your cocktails and get your snacks because today you already know, honey, you are in for a treat. So in the meantime, while you're getting settled, I'm going to go ahead and address the new booze. Hey, new booze, if you stumbled upon this channel today, welcome to Fab Finds by Keetra. Over here at Fab Finds by Keetra, we talk about all things fabulous when it comes to a good fragrance that is. So it could be anything, honey. It could be designer. It could be indie. It could be niche. If I go out and I find it, honey, and I spray it, and it is love at first sniff, it is love at first spray, and everything about this fragrance says, take me home, then that's exactly what I'm going to do, and I'm going to bring it here, and I'm going to share it with you guys. So if that's something that you're interested in, and you want to come to Fab Finds by Keetra, then definitely, I welcome you. Welcome to Fab Finds. If this is something that you want to be a part of, and you love to talk about fragrances, you love to hear about fragrances, then let's connect. Definitely go ahead and consider clicking on that subscribe button. Another thing that we're going to do over here at Fab Finds by Keetra, honey, it is all about positivity and positive vibes over here. So if you don't mind me calling you honey, boo, sugar, gorgeous, then definitely this is the place for you. So guys, today on my channel, we are here to talk about some spring date night fragrances. This video is actually a request from a subby and they wanted to know, hey, Fab Finds by Keetra, I would love to know about your springtime fragrances that you wear that are date night worthy. So without further ado, let's get into my date nights. Okay, so hey, returning booze, let me ask you a quick question. What does your girl love to smell like? Okay, what is my favorite fragrance note? Leave it down in the comment box below because that right there is going to be your hint as to what my spring sexy date night fragrances consist of. But I will tell you, if you guessed vanilla as my favorite fragrance note and you said smelling like a decadent rich snack, then you are 110% correct. So without further ado, let's hop into my sexy date night fragrances. Okay, so the first fragrance up that I am going to share with you guys is none other than my Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Now guys, this fragrance was a fragrance that was purchased by my husband. It was actually my very first niche fragrance and it basically just signs off on what I've been saying this whole entire time. Men love for women to smell sweet. So of course, when he smelled this fragrance, he was like, yes, this has my wife written all over it. She has to have it. I want her to smell like this. And that is is how I was introduced to the house of Killian to Love Don't Be Shy. So this fragrance, guys, let me tell you, it has orange blossom, it has honeysuckle, it has rose, there's marshmallow, there's amber, and there is neroli in this fragrance. This fragrance is sweet, it's decadent, it's rich, honey, it's good enough to eat. I'm just telling you, it's flirty, it's floral, it's fruity, it's oriental, it's powdery, it has everything that you need for a sweet, decadent, rich date night. And Killian love don't be shy honey it is what it is it is the og to the sweetness honey this right here is a grown woman sexy and i absolutely love it the next fragrance that i am bringing to you guys comes from the house of lancome and this fragrance right here perfume lover 80 talked about it on her channel all the time and i thought to myself it cannot be that good i have to find some way to get my nose on it so i was coming back and i was in the airport and Lo and behold, what do I see in this fragrance shop in the airport? La Nuit Trésor. Oh my God, by Lancome. 
At first, I thought to myself, it cannot be all that good. It can't be that good. It can't be that sexy. Honey, it is that good. It is that sexy. And it is delicious. And let me tell you, this fragrance, it is a sweet gourmand fragrance. It has black rose, honey. It has Tahitian vanilla. It has um, the frankincense. It has lychee. And it has praline. So you already know, honey, this fragrance right here is definitely going to to make it into my date night collection and it is definitely going to go on a spring date night with me because it is the perfect the perfect sweet smelling gorgeous fragrance it is smoky it's oriental it's spicy honey it's a gourmand it is a gourmand fragrance that screams yes honey come on over here because i am the delicious dessert and snack <laughs> that will happen after the date night. I would tell you it is perfect for, um, it's very seductive, okay? And it is perfect for a date night. It is a fragrance that I feel like you can bring this out year round whenever you are feeling like it, honey, and you are feeling sexy, you are feeling all seductive and everything, and you're trying to, you know, get him to do some things that he's not willing to do. Spray this right here, honey, and he will be putty in your hands. I almost guarantee it. This fragrance right here, it is so flirtatious, honey. It's inviting, it's sweet, and it is absolutely sexy. And again, this is the uh, La Nuit Trésor by Lancome. Definitely sexy, definitely date night worthy, and it will get them every time. So the next fragrance that I am going to talk to you guys about, let me tell you, it is another sweet, decadent, rich fragrance. And I am talking about none other than Nishane, A Hundred Silent Ways. Honey, when I tell you I have a hundred reasons as to why you need this in your collection, if you love smelling rich and sweet and decadent, and just inviting, this is the fragrance for you. This is a sweet floral fragrance. It has mandarin orange, it has tuberose. There is peach, there is jasmine, there's gardenia, there's iris, there's vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. When I tell you this is the perfect fragrance, let me tell you, I wore this the other day when we were out and my husband, he just kept smelling, he's like, Oh my God, he's like, whatever that is that you're wearing, you smell so good. It was this. It was a hundred solid ways. And let me tell you, when I sprayed it, like I sprayed everywhere I could with this fragrance because for me, it wasn't beast mode. It's not like in your face. It just basically, it's very subtle and it just makes you just smell very pretty, very gorgeous, very dainty. That's kind of what I got from it. Like I said, it is a floral, sweet, fruity fragrance. It's very creamy. I feel like you can bring this fragrance out year round. I believe that you can wear this fragrance basically anytime you want to because it's non-intrusive like that. And you are going to smell so beautiful. Like you're going to smell sweet. Like if someone came in and they gave you a hug it's almost as if like that's what you would smell like it is like i said it's a very beautiful it is a um dainty fragrance and it's very pretty it's just a very pretty gorgeous fragrance and i can see myself you know this is kind of going to be one of those dates where we're just sitting over in the corner or whatever and we're having our dinner and he's just smelling me because he's getting little whiffs as i'm moving this fragrance right here oh my god let me tell you absolutely does it and let me tell you if you do not know you can purchase nishane on the soavantgarde.com website I also have a discount code for you guys, and I will leave that down in the description box below. But definitely take advantage of that. If you are a lover of the Nashani brand, you are going to love A Hundred Silent Ways. It is, like I said, ladies, it is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It is the right amount of sweet, okay? It is grown woman sweet. It's grown woman sexy, and it is perfect for that date night, okay? I'm just saying, especially a spring date night. 
So another fragrance that I am going to bring to you guys, because like I said, I love a good sweet smelling fragrance. And this one also comes from the house of Nishani. And I am talking about Ani. Yes. Now this fragrance right here, oh my God. This, <sighs> Ani, it does it every time. This is a sweet, creamy fragrance. It has a bergamot. There's green notes. There is ginger. There is pink pepper. There is black currant. There's the Turkish rose. There's cardamom. There's patchouli. There's cedarwood, vanilla, benzone, ambergris, musk, and sandalwood. This fragrance right here is absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful. And let me tell you, when you spray it, honey, you are going to be in love because I am. And you already know what they say about pink pepper. They say that pink pepper is kind of like, it reminds you of love. And when I wear this Nishani Ani, let me tell you, I love being up under my husband. I love being up under him. And when I am smelling sweet like this, like this Ani, he absolutely loves it, okay? The kisses tend to linger a little longer. The hugs tend to just kind of, like you're just holding each other because you he's leaning in and you smell so yummy. And I'm telling you, I love smelling like a good, rich, decadent snack. And if I can smell like that, and it puts a smile on his face. And when he comes in, like I said, when he leans in and he gives me a kiss on my forehead or he kisses me on my shoulder or he comes in and kisses me on my neck and I am wearing Nishani Ani, oh my gosh. Let me tell you, this fragrance is perfect. It is spicy. There's a little citrus to it. It's definitely a gum martin fragrance. It is floral. It's sweet. It's creamy. And like I said, and it's slightly oriental as well. It's delicious. It's yummy. It is succulent, honey. It's rich. And let me tell you, you can also wear this fragrance year round as well. And like I said, if you are looking for a good fragrance that is rich and creamy and it smells sweet and it's decadent and it's not like cotton candy bubble gum like no it is none of that it's none of that all of my fragrances that I do have in my collection, when I tell you that it's grown woman sweet, it's grown woman sweet because it is a different, it is not teeny boppy at all. And that's what I love about this Nishani Ani. Um, and I can just, um, as a matter of fact, honey, let me just go ahead and do the needful. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Woo! You gotta get this. If you have this, tell me your thoughts. Let me know. Leave it down in the comment box below. Do you have Nishani Ani? And give me your thoughts. Tell me what you're feeling. This is a beautiful, like I said, gorgeous gourmand fragrance. And oh my God, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So the next fragrance that I am going to bring to you guys, like I said, I can either go um, sweet, but then sometimes my sweet needs a little something added to it. And you cannot have a date night, honey, and not bring this girl to the table. And I'm talking about none other than Coco Noir. Coco Noir screams date night, okay? It is a floral oriental fragrance. It has bergamot, there's grapefruit, there's orange, there's... Um, geranium, jasmine, patchouli, rose, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, frankincense, white musk. It is a oriental woody fragrance, honey. It's powdery, it's spicy, it's floral, it's sweet, it's smoky. It's very elegant, okay? It's very elegant, it's very graceful, it's very polished and chic. When I tell you, I sprayed this fragrance one morning um, before I went to work and I was like, I did not know if I was going to make it because he just kept coming in for more kisses and I kept giving it to them. <laughs> and he couldn't help himself there is something about coco noir honey ladies when you are wearing this when you are putting this on 
proceed with caution. I'm just saying, be ready because you could possibly be late to wherever you're trying to go to. And that includes the date night. So another fragrance that I'm going to bring to you guys and that I'm going to talk to you guys about. Now, like I said, a lot of my fragrances, they are sweet, and but sometimes I need a little something else with them. And this next fragrance I am bringing to you comes from none other than BDK. And I am talking about Gris Charnel. This is a woody oriental fragrance okay it has fig it has black tea it has cardamom it has iris there's bourbon vetiver sandalwood and tonka bean in it as well it is a floral sweet fragrance it's creamy it's woody it's spicy this is a fragrance that you guys let me tell you you're going to be able to wear this year round you're going to be able to pull it out for all occasions but i would tell you there are certain restaurants and certain places that I'll go that I will wear this fragrance right here because it's kind of like smoky, you know? It's kind of as if like you're in this restaurant and it's dark and it's dim and you're over in like a little... um in a booth by yourselves and then there's a like a little live jazz band playing or the piano guy that's there for the night and you're just really just kind of like taking it in you know you're drinking your mocktails a little slower you're eating your food a little slower because you don't want to rush to the dessert because this fragrance right here honey it is sexy okay it is sexy it is seductive and you let me just say when you wear this right here Oh my God, it is absolutely amazing. I love Gris Charnel by BDK and I have worn it several times. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Do you guys have this? Do you have the Gris Charnel in your collection? Tell me what you think. Do you get those rich, like those kind of like seductive date night vibes with this fragrance right here? I mean, it's almost as if like there's a little bit of mysterious going on. Like there's a little mystery. Um, you know, you're not telling it all. You're not putting it all out there, but you're like, hmm, there's something about that. What is she wearing? That kind, that that right there, that type of vibe. That's what I love about this. Um, like I said, it is definitely one of fragrance you know what i do find myself doing we will share this fragrance this is a fragrance that i will wear and that my husband will wear as well because i truly believe that it is a good shared fragrance it's sweet yet it's masculine yet it's feminine like it has the best of both worlds and is definitely perfect for a spring date night the next fragrance that I'm going to talk to you guys about is another fragrance that has a little something going on with it. And I am talking about none other than my fragrance du poivre. And I am talking about my Siberian rose. Now this rose right here, honey, it is a floral or oriental fragrance. It has cardamom, it has juniper pear, it has pink pepper, there's leather, there's rose, there's tuberose, there's uh, ylang ylang, there's amber, musk, and patchouli. Now this fragrance right here, honey, it is a oriental spicy bomb of a number right here. This is sweet, it's creamy, it's sexy, it's leathery, it's smoky like this right here it lets you know that i am not playing any games when we are getting ready to go out for date night honey this right here will be accompanied with a little black dress honey and maybe a bold red lip and the sexiness is definitely there it is definitely all season i can see myself pulling this out um, throughout the year as we are going on dates, whether it is spring, whether it's summer, whether it's winter or fall, I can see myself pulling for this fragrance. Um, it is definitely worthy of a night out on the town. It's definitely evening. Um, I get that because of the rich leathery notes um, and the smokiness in the fragrance. Um, I feel like it's very exclusive when I'm wearing this. I feel like it's very luxurious when I'm wearing this. I feel like it's like really, really get dressed up, honey. I'm talking about go to a restaurant where, you know, you have the reservations, honey. There is valet parking. Like, you know, when you are sitting there and the waiter brings out your food, you don't even pull. Like, you don't even fix your own plate, honey. No, they fix it for you. That's how fancy and luxurious this right here smells to me. 
It is very sumptuous. It's opulent. Like I love this Siberian rose. And I will tell you, I did wear it and I did experience it on one of those date nights, honey. That was by far one of the best date nights ever. I felt, honey, let me just say, I, I just felt rich, okay? I felt really, really, really rich. <laughs> And this is definitely a good date night spring fragrance. And like I said, it is my fragrance du bois and it is my Siberian rose. Now, one more fragrance that I'm going to talk to you guys about, and it is, oh my God. So it was recently added to my collection, but I was able to kind of get my nose on it because I had a sample of it. Perfume Lover 80 sent me over her discovery set for this fragrance. And when I tell you, when I first smelled it, I was like, okay, this is, this is pretty good. But I wasn't, I don't know. It was something that didn't grab at me. And so then there were a other group of women. I think it was like perfumes with Pat. I want to say Dr. Rose. Um, who else? else was it bougie fragrances i think it was cassandra jones they did a cupcake video and what they did was they brought out their cupcakes oh and pam jordan was on there as well and everybody was talking about this fragrance and i thought to myself it can't be that good so i ran got my sample sprayed it and my husband was like oh what is that and i was like something i don't have but i need it and so <laughs> of course after spraying it and him getting a whiff of it it was an add to cart honey and as soon as the cupcakes went on sale your girl got her very own passion de l'amour when i tell you this fragrance right here is a whole entire sweet snack of a vibe it's that good it is a sweet floral honey it has bergamot there's raspberry there's saffron there's ambergris there's caramel there's lily of the valley there's oud patchouli and vanilla when i tell you with this fragrance honey the scent trail is there the longevity is there the sillage is there let me just tell you everything about this fragrance screams sexy spring date night it is let me tell you it is resinous it's woody it's oriental it's spicy it's a gourmand it's a sweet floral fruity fragrance and let me tell you it is perfect absolutely perfect for year round it is perfect for the fall it's perfect for the summer it's perfect for the spring the summer let me tell you this is definitely a date night worthy fragrance it is luxurious honey it is lavish it's gorgeous it's fruity it's everything and it's over the top and it's extravagant okay let me tell you this fragrance right here is absolutely everything and i love everything about this fragrance and i cannot wait like i'm like sign me up for my next oh my god sign me up for my next date night i cannot wait as a matter of fact i just might wear my passion de l'amour or i might wear a hundred silent ways by nishani ani i just might wear my ani i might i have so many selections to choose from and each and every last one of these fragrances gives me a different date night feel it gives me a different date night vibe and like i said i i love it i love it and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video so if you are going out and i know everything is kind of opening back up now and people are starting to move around and have um date nights and dinner so here we are we are still in spring and i want to know what fragrances are you guys reaching for what fragrances are you reaching for and pulling from are you going for more sweet are you going for more floral are you going for fresh are you going for woody let me know leave that down in the comment box below but guys that is it like i said that is it and until our next fabulous fab fine smooches